All right, welcome back to another episode of the Marvin and Jeremiah Experiment. I am your co-host, Jeremiah Smith, and here with me as always is Marvin Langford, my <laughs> co-host. We're co-hosts together. Anyway, we have a very special episode for you today. Today we will be reviewing The Rise of Skywalker. And uh, not only do we have a very special episode for you, we also have a very special guest. Uh, please welcome my son, Romeo Balboa. Oh, <coughs> okay. Right off the bat, I just want to say I absolutely love Star Wars. It's just great. And a fun fact, you guys. I... Wait, are we talking about Star Wars? What the f All right, to start off, I just want to talk about what's got to be on everybody's mind here. How did Wait, Palpatine... I just got to say there will be spoilers from here on out for them, all of Star Wars, so beware. <laughs> Right, anyway, yeah, spoilers for a movie that came out last year. Uh, anyway, Marvin, what were your thoughts on the return of the Senate himself? Uh, who? The Senate. Like, no. No, you know, know who the Senate is. No, the Senate. No, like, I, mean, I was a joke. No, I was referring meant, to Palpatine. Palpatine. Palpatine's the Palpatine. oh. Senate. You remember well, him? didn't say Anyway, no. Palpatine is back, and he's as odd as ever. For a guy who's hyped up in every trilogy, he really doesn't do that much. Yeah, I thought it was kind of weird that they would just kind of, you know, kill him off in the last movie, you know, when Kyle sliced him in half. And then he just kind of returned out of nowhere in this new one with, like, powers and ships and shit. Dog. Um, it, it, Romeo, he didn't uh, die in the last one. Yeah, you are thinking of Supreme Leader Snow. Speaking of... What do you think all those uh, weird test tubes were all about with these clones inside? <laughs> hey, those were test tube babies like Marvin. Well, Neil, I wasn't a test tube bit. But let's just get back to the... <laughs> yeah. Right, right, right. Uh, you know, it was that Snoke was seemingly created by Palpatine to uh, maybe guide Kylo Ren to the dark side. And this is a very odd plot twist, especially because the movie doesn't even decide to comment on where Snoke actually came from. It's more left to interpretation. Uh, what did you think, Marvin? You know, that's actually a good point, Jeremiah. I was thinking that maybe Snoke was uh, already like a real person and maybe Palpatine manipulated his mind through the Force or something and uh, brought him over to the dark side or something. What are your thoughts, uh, Romeo? I think it's odd that you're sleeping with one of my friends. Well, okay. Um, Marvin, what, what, is, what is he talking about? Dog, Jed Jr. ain't told you yet? Yeah, Marvin and Alice are doing the dirty. Oh my god. Okay. No, okay. Um, it's not as bad as no. uh, Romeo's making it. No, no, no. See, no, no, Marvin. No, For those of you in our audience who are not aware of this predicament, I am Romeo Balboa, the son of Marvin Langford. Marvin Langford here is my 50-year-old father, who is seemingly sleeping with my 18-year-old friend, Alice Curry. She is uh, on screen now. So, quite the predicament as it is seeming to be. So, uh, thoughts on Finn and Poe? <laughs> 